The Plus M has three instrument options. The seven item short form, the 12 item short form, and the computerized adaptive test, also known as the CAT. All versions take approximately two minutes to administer. Things to consider when choosing an instrument are the measurement precision of the instrument, whether results will be used to monitor health status or make clinical decisions, and whether paper or electronic is the preferred mode of administration. The seven item short form provides adequate measurement precision and is best suited in situations where mobility is a secondary outcome or to monitor patient health over time. It is available in paper and electronic form. The 12 item short form provides excellent measurement precision and clinical decisions regarding mobility are to be made and is recommended when mobility is a primary outcome. It is available in paper or electronic form. The CAT automatically selects questions based on patient responses. It also offers excellent measurement precision and is recommended when making clinical decisions regarding mobility. It is only available in electronic format. Once you have decided which instrument version to use, take the patient into an environment with limited distractions. For example, a clinic room. It is important to brief the patient on the purpose of the outcome measure. Patients should understand that they are answering questions about their perceived ability to carry out each task. Each question has five response options ranging from without any difficulty to unable to do. Once any patient questions have been answered, provide patient with chosen version of the plus M. For patients with limited eyesight or when a language barrier is present, read out questions and document verbal responses. To consider the test completed, verify that at least four questions on the seven item short form and six questions on the 12 item short form have been answered. If all questions on the plus M have been answered, first calculate the raw score by summing the values of each response. For example, in this plus M, the raw score is 25. For incomplete tests, refer to the plus M user guide for calculation of raw score. CAT scoring is automated within system. Choose the appropriate conversion table based on the version administered. Use the raw score to find the associated T-score and percentile. In our example, the raw score was 25, therefore the associated T-score would be 50 and percentile would be 49.9%. In this example, the patient had a T-score of 50 and a percentile of 49.9%. This means that the patient reported higher mobility than 49.9% of the entire plus M development sample. Patient T-scores can be compared against plus M development sample norms. In our example, the patient has had a traumatic transtibial amputation. For this population, a T-score of 50 indicates that the patient reported mobility higher than 25% of the traumatic transtibial population. Refer to user guide for a breakdown of T-scores based on gender, age, level, and cause of amputation for both unilateral and bilateral amputees. Patient T-scores can also be used to assess changes between two points in time, such as before and after treatment. In our example, before treatment, the patient had a T-score of 44.2, and after treatment, they had a T-score of 50. Patient showed a real change because the difference in T-scores is greater than the minimal detectable change of 4.69 points. Provide patient copy of results, including any prior scores they may have. Discuss scores with patients and how this relates to their treatment. Short forms are available in English, German, Swedish, Farsi, Spanish, Norwegian, French, and Swahili. CAT only available in English.